The people at the Uganda South Sudan border point in Lukong, sub-county Lamo district, are living in fear after people suspected to be South Sudanese rebels or a platoon of the South Sudan National Army forcefully entered the South Sudanese border into Uganda by about six kilometers. Three women are reported to have been raped and the residents of the four villages cannot attend to their gardens. Rome. Over 17,000 people at the Uganda South Sudan International border in Nukong sub county are living in fear. Locals say the intruders have annexed the four Ugandan villages of Ngomoromo, Apuku, Limu, and Yoke into a sub county called Poge. And in these people, they have formed a village. Not, let me say, not a village, a sub county. So they call it Poge. So for them, they call sub county as Payam. So now, even Ngomoromotu, which is in Uganda, they are saying now it is what? a village. So that one is one of their villages. So now we have that fear. Abo Evelyn says these people are looting and breaking shops. Patrick Kilama says these people claim the border is at the Limu River, which is about six kilometers in Ugandan land, and people in the area are also being brutally tortured. They can ask you some questions, and they will ask you to identify yourself whether you're a Ugandan or South Sudanese. Patrick remembers the day his friend was brutalized when he took a wrong turn into the area. So they cane that man, they, then they released the body, body to go. They have removed the memory card, they have removed the phone, they have removed even the sandal. Then after caning them, so they gathered something just like a crawl for, for this in an animal. So they could put you there under the sun, you stay there for some time, they take you, they beat you. Then they have released the border border, now they have remained with that man. In the wake of this contentious international border security matter, the Lamo RDC, Kidega James Nebison Nock, met the affected communities. He was informed that the SPLA in opposition started occupying the area after the South Sudan conflict broke out. <laughs> The local council three says these people claim that the original South Sudan and Uganda border is in Soroti and even GPS on their mobile phones shows the area is in South Sudan. The Ugandans in the area call for quick government intervention. If possible, they should come and then keep up a clear report so that they tell those people to go back to their places. The RDC blames this security laxity on the negligence of the police who have abandoned their station at Lokong. People are saying they harass. The, 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 the Sudanese are coming very close. And here there's no police. I think. Uh, that was negligent from the, 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 the district leadership on in the, I mean the district leadership, the security leadership. As the locals live in fear, the RDC Nokidega intends to meet the UPDF hierarchy and reiterates that the government security bodies need to act fast. Uh, the leadership has given me a task and this task must be worked together with the government which is in central and then uh, the district gov uh, local government 
uh, we need to work as a team because um, the information that they gave me now that uh, the Sudanese has entered into our country with about six six kilometers inside and uh, they are putting their roadblocks there their checkpoint there which it is not it is not in their land I think this is too much uh, we need to act I will go there I will arrange <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.